to solve uh, peacefully the, the situation. But we're ready with all our equipment to do whatever task we're going to be asked to. Actually, I, I, we I was just passing by going to the corner dip and to get milk, as I often do, and except that this time I couldn't avoid uh, noticing all the uh, turbulence, the action, the army, the noise, and uh, tourists, let's face it, some people are coming to visit the army. And uh, I, I, I had to stop to talk about that situation with my friends. Norman Lafoye, a teacher in Oka. You can't avoid the subject. You can't get away from it. You can't meet anyone uh, without uh, talking about it and taking sides. And it uh, it puts a strain on uh, a strain on friendships, uh, a strain on family relations, a strain on community relations. People don't look at each other now for who they are, but more for the on what side which side they are on. They showed their anger many times in Shadowgate before. Tonight, they came to Montreal for the first time. 75 trucks affected by the bridge blockade. Hundreds of angry people asking once again for the use of force against the Mohawks. We're asking the, the army to go through. Not say it and do not work. We're paying for the army. Let them go through. We need our bridge. There's people that have to do lots of mileage for that bridge. The Premier is in his office on the 17th floor of the Hydro-Quebec building, meeting with Shadowgate businessmen. They're protesting the loss of the value of the property, demanding that Premier Barassa build an extension to Route 30 immediately. Commuting takes so long now, says the sign, that family life has suffered. They wave the Shadowgate flag and talk of a feeling of pride that's been shattered by the blockade. It's the, the pride of a, of a city, it's the pride of businessmen, Mercier, Lady, Saint Isidore, Shadegui, all the supporters that want justice in this province. But there's another feeling here beside the pride, open hostility towards natives, and an ugly sight, a red jacket hanging from a hoist. It represents a hanging native. Uh, I don't accept the government give everything to the Indian since uh, 200 years, and uh, also we don't have nothing, we have to work everything. For now, this is only an expression of their anger, showing off the might of their trucks, but that might mean more confrontation later on. One sh Four veterans from Ontario and as far as Manitoba gathered in Oka in support of the Mohawks behind the barricade. These men fought wars for Canada alongside other Canadian soldiers, soldiers like the ones now manning the barricades in Oka and Chateauguay. We are Indian warriors who put our lives on the line to defend Canada. As veterans of the Canadian Army, we are appalled that the armed forces have been called to oppose Indians who are only defending land that is legitimately theirs. After the brief ceremony, the men decided to visit an Army checkpoint a few kilometers. 